Mary, three female friends and Peter attend the theater. In the theater there is a row of ten empty seats. For the first half of the show they decide to sit next to each other in this row. Find the number of ways these five people can be seated in this row. Since five people must be together, we can consider them as uh, one object and uh, there are uh, the next possibilities if uh, the first uh, five uh, seats uh, are our uh, five people. So it looks like it looks like five people as one object and uh, the next is seat number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And um, the next possibility is uh, the first seat is empty, group of 5, 6 in total and uh, seat number 7, 8, 9, 10. Then 2 empty, group of 5 and uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 empty. 5 and uh, another empty 1 2 3 4 5 empty and group of 5 and you can see that there are six possi possible ways but each time um, there are five factorial ways to rearrange them uh, uh, within a group so there are five factorial uh, permutations within group so each time it must be multiplied by 5 factorial and uh, it is equal finally 6 multiplied by 5 factorial is 6 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 which is equal to 720. For the second half of the show they return to the same row of 10 empty seats. The four girls decide uh, decide uh, to sit uh, at least one seat apart from Peter. The four girls do not have to sit next uh, to each other. Find the number of ways these five people can now be seated in this row. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, seats in total. If Peter is here, next must be empty and we have eight places and for girls must be somewhere it doesn't matter where they are uh, must be seated somewhere within these eight places but since order is important what does it mean it may be object uh, one object two object three object four but another way or another possible rearrangement is uh, object two one three four and so on and in total uh, there are four factorial ways to rearrange them within a group of four. Hence it will be permutations four out of eight. And actually permutations it's uh, the same as combinations when you choose uh, four objects with, uh, which are indistinguishable to choose just four objects of eight is combinations. But if we multiply by 4 factorial number of ways to rearrange them, number of uh, permutations within a group, it's actually the same as permutation 4 out of uh, 8. So when Peter is here, number of ways to rearrange uh, girls for girls uh, is permutations 4 out of 8. And if Peter is here, uh, again, this place must be empty and uh, we have uh, four places and uh, four girls to be uh, seated within these eight places. Uh, there are uh, uh, the number of ways which is equal to permutations four out of eight. So we can just multiply by two. When Peter is here, the, uh, this place must be empty and this also must be empty. Because girls must be at least one seat apart from Peter. And hence we have seven remain, uh, remaining places and again four girls 
must be seated within um, these eight, uh, seven places. And again, order is important. So number of ways is equal to permutations four out of seven. But Peter may be here and we will uh, have the same situation. This place must be empty and uh, this also must be empty and uh, there are seven remaining places and four girls must be seated within uh, these seven places. So it uh, also will be permutations uh, four out of seven. Uh, so Peter may be here, 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 up to here. So um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possibilities, and each time it uh, will be a uh, number of ways to rearrange for girls. Uh, number of ways is equal. Uh, to permutations for out of seven. So total number of ways it's uh, two multiplied by permutations for out of eight plus uh, eight multiplied by permutations for out of seven. And uh, formula for permutations is given in data booklet. It's greater number factorial and uh, uh, greater minus less factorial is uh, four factorial plus 8 multiplied by uh, 7 factorial, 7 minus 4, 3 factorial. We can simplify and it becomes uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can see that there are common factors. We can factor out uh, uh, 5 6, 7, 8 multiplied by 2 plus 4 which is equal to 30 multiplied by 56 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 10,080 ways. And uh, that's all for this question.